Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video, and welcome back to another day of Seamus. I love this time of year because I get to try out everything I saw during the year and just didn't have time to make videos about. Uh, today specifically, I'm really excited. We are trying Sassy by Savannah Chrisley. This is a sponsored video, thank you to them for sending this out to me and working with me on this video. Really, really cute packaging, and it comes in really nice bundles. You get a lot for your buck here. This is the All Eyes On Me Brow and Lash Kit. I have it in medium dark. In this kit, you get a double-ended pencil, two spoolies, tinted brow gel, brow shaper, wax stick, and volumizing mascara. So it's a pretty nice little bundle. And this is only 16 bucks. So like I said, you get a, a lot for your money with this. We have the Sassy by Savannah Darling Lip Kit. This has a satin lightwear lip color, a shimmer lip gloss, and a longwear lip liner. Only 12 bucks, really good deal. We have the Stay Sassy Full Face Palette. This is literally a full face palette. It's so cute too, by the way. Only 22 bucks, and this is actually a relaunch. The original, I think went up for sale like two years ago when her brand launched and it like immediately sold out. This is like the hot, hot item and it's recently gone a relaunch. So I'm pretty excited about that. Only 22 bucks as well. So we're gonna do a little look today. I need to first start with the brows because my brows are a little nanky and I feel very awkward. I just don't have a good natural brow, okay? I need a proper brow. Here is the Sassy by Savannah Chrisley All Eyes on Me Brow and Lash Kit. Like I said, only $16. You get the two spoolies, the brow pencil, the brow shaper wax stick, a tinted brow gel, as well as a volumizing mascara. I'm most intrigued by the brow wax stick because I actually don't use brow wax like almost ever. And I know a ton of people swear by it. So I'm excited to try that. I'm just giving myself a quick little spoolie. I'm gonna take the, I typically use the darker uh, side of brush pencils or a darker shade all over. Um, just cause my, I feel like my brows are relatively dark. If I use anything too light because I have so many gaps, it kind of is obvious that I've used a pencil and I try to keep it as natural as I can. So, oh my gosh, this is really pigmented. So I'm gonna first build up the front half of that brow and spoolie as I go. I really try not to do too much to the front of my brow because I feel like they're pretty full, but I like to just kind of fill in any little gaps. And then I really tend to build up this back half. I use more product than I would like to just because it feels like I have to. <laughs> I have like no brow back here. Did anyone else just, are you kicking yourself like me for completely tweezing the crap out of your brows when you were younger? Look at the difference. This is a great brow pencil. My goodness, I have like barely was using it. You really don't need much at all. That looks fantastic. Look at the difference. I mean, <laughs> I need brow pencil. Here is the brow wax. Isn't that cool? I like that it's in a little, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Right from the get-go, it's very easy to work. That is so good, oh my gosh, new favorite, hello. This is a new must-have for me. I cannot believe I don't use brow wax, this is so nice. Do you guys all use this? I might prefer this than brow gel. It just so nicely groomed them. Fantastic, I mean, the difference is so good. Last step on my brows, I'm gonna throw on the tinted brow gel. I love a good tinted brow gel, especially if it's a day where I'm not doing much to my brows. A, bra a tinted brow gel is nice, but it's also good just for, especially this front, I kind of like to fluff up my brow there. Perfect. It just makes it look a little more natural, which I could use all the help in the world making my brows look a little more natural <laughs> just because I do have to pencil them in so much. Just kind of fluffing up your texture like that really makes a difference. Love! Perfect! I think I have a new brow routine. I'm gonna keep it all in its little home so I don't lose anything. And that's another thing that I love. The packaging is very cute for this. You can actually just keep it like this. I don't know if you're like me, but I like to keep things in their package. If it's kind of like a resillable packaging, I love to keep it. It's less waste and just all of my things stay in here and I won't lose them. We will be back to that once we get to mascara, but for now, let's pop to the palette. We are now getting into the Stay Sassy Full Face Palette. Isn't that cute? Look how cute she looks, those little Polaroids. Really, really cute packaging, I love that. This, like I said, is a full face palette. It comes with a ginormous mirror, so wonderful for travel or anything like that. The top row is your eyeshadows. Then you have your blush and your highlighters. You have bronzers down there, and I like that the bronzers can be covered there. I think that's a nice touch, so you don't get like highlighter dust or anything in them. 
Um, it's really, really cute. So yeah, we're gonna do eyes, face with this. First starting off, I'm gonna take the shade Precious and we're gonna pop this in the crease as our transition color right off the bat. Ooh, that's nice. That's a lovely little transition. Nice and soft, it's a good matte, it's buildable. I love this color. Can I ask you guys, what type of tones do you use the most in the winter? Does it change at all from what colors you typically use in the summertime? I was thinking about that earlier today and I was like, you know what, I pretty much do warm tones all year round. I was wondering if it's the same for you guys. Not necessarily warm, but do you just stick with what you like the best? Are you more cool toned? Do you like more warm tones? Let me know. I'm just, I'm kind of always a warm tone girl. Real quick, popping into this nice light creamy shade. This is called Sweetheart. And I'm gonna pop that on the brow bone. And that will brighten and lift, but also help to blend out your crease color, just like so. And then whatever's left on the brush, just run it over the top of your transition. It'll blend it out really nicely. We gotta smoke this out a little bit. You know me, I can't resist. I'm gonna go into the shade Hey Y'all. I'm trying to get not too carried away here, but I just love a nice dark brown right here in the outer crease. This look is making me think of like hot chocolate. This is like a hot chocolate look. <laughs> I'm then going to wet a shadow brush because you know I could not resist a beautiful shimmery bronze. This shade is called That's the Tea. So I'm taking that. It's why I didn't worry about blending in this inner half too much because we're just gonna go ahead and cover it up. I just got super like hot chocolate inspired. <laughs> so now it's kind of like a frozen hot chocolate. Sorry, I'm like fixated on hot chocolate now. I'm literally gonna have to go make a cup after I'm done this video because it's I can't stop thinking about it now. <laughs> and I am popping that all over the lid, right up to the crease there. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm a sucker for these type of smoky eyes. And when you wet that shimmer, it just kind of gives it that glossy effect. It's so good. I'm taking what little brown is left on my brush um, from that darker shade and just blowing that out down here. Just because it is, it's an intense eye, which I love. Um, I don't want to get too carried away with eyeliner or anything like that, but we need to tie it together somehow. So just Adding a bit more of that brown down here is the perfect way. If you have any fallout, just sweep it away. Okay, Savannah, loving this formula. I have pretty small lashes, so to be able to build these up in such a way is really nice. It's a, it's a really volumizing formula. It's building beautifully without getting clumpy and spidery. Do you guys look for a more lengthening or a more volumizing formula, typically? I'm just a volume all the way type of girl. I just don't have much volume to begin with, so I'll take as much as I can. Cute! Okay, my bottom lashes. You guys know that like tweezer trend everyone's doing where they're like, you know, pulling at their bottom lashes with the tweezers? I just have tweezer trauma. I can't do that. So what I've been doing instead, and I think it's very similar, is I just paint it on with the, the you know, end of your mascara wand instead of kind of clipping it with the little tweezers. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? It's like all over Instagram. I just kind of paint it on myself. I feel like I get a similar effect. I just take a kind of a bigger glob of mascara and I just pull it down the lash just like that. And I think it looks similar. It's very baby doll, I love it. Love, 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 very, very good. Popping back into our Stay Sassy palette. I'm gonna first go into the bronzer. I'm feeling debutante here. I like this shade. And I'm kind of doing an all over bronze effect. I'm going much bigger than my contour. Just because the eyes are so dark, I kind of feel like I need to balance it out a little bit and just kind of have an all over bronze effect. Look how nice that is. It is smooth. It blends really nicely. So normally I just use my bronzer right in the in the little contour spots, but I'm kind of buffing it out in an over, not so contoury, but an overall bronze vibe today. I just think it'll balance the eyes nicely. Wow, I feel like I just got back from vacation. <laughs> Have a nice bit of color to me, a little on the nose there and a little on the forehead. Cute, 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 okay. For blush, I want Cheeky, of course, obviously, as the host of Cheeky Couch, okay? I have to go into Cheeky, plus I just love me a good corally golden vibe. This blush is great because you technically don't need highlighter, but of course, you know, <laughs> the more the merrier. But it has a nice little glow. I'm adding that on my nose as well. Oh, it's so cute. 
And then with the highlighter, I'm going to take, uh, let's go into the shade Sparkle. It's kind of like a pale gold. Tip of the nose and right here. Whoa, that, <laughs> that is good. That is a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing. I'm going to pop it on the inner corner too because it glows so well. I'm feeling holiday party ready. And then let's just do a little right here at the top of the cheekbone. God, that's a good highlighter. Holy crap, that is nice. We're done with the palette, you guys. That is a good palette. That is really nice. I would say especially, I mean, it's literally good at any age, but if you have a daughter or a friend who's just getting into makeup, it's so convenient having all of that in one palette and like a ton of shades to experiment with. It's a good beginner palette or it's a good like, I'm busy, I don't wanna have a 100 items to choose from, like let me just have everything in one spot. Lastly, we have our Darling Lip Kit. This has your lip liner, your lipstick, and your lip gloss all in there. Good sizes too. Okay, let's first start with the lip liner. It's a good pencil. Bury your lips, but better. Oh, I love this color. It's gonna look so good when it's all done with this eye look. It's funny because I was doing the eyes and I was like, oh my gosh, I hope the lip kit that I have matches, and it's like perfect. It's literally perfect for it. Now on top of that, we're taking the Darling lipstick. Looks like this. Oh, creamy. Hello, I look beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. Top it with a little gloss. We're thinking holiday party vibes, okay? A little glam. Never hurt us. I'm sorry, I don't mean to brag, but this is like a really good look for me. I'm like kind of really excited by this makeup. I love it. And again, the best part, everything is super affordable. It blended beautifully. Sassy by Savannah Chrisley. This is gorgeous. I'm excited to see what they come out with next. I also have a perfume. They just sent this to me for fun, but I wanted to try it out with you guys. And I gotta not point it towards the candle. <laughs> Let's not set the room on fire today. Wouldn't that be great? So the top notes of this is wild berries, lemon, and bergamot, which really excited me because you guys know I'm obsessed with lemon anything. Um, and it's called Dreaming Out Loud, and I thought that was really cute and really sweet. So let's give this a little spritz. Oh, the cutest little bottle. That's really pretty. I'm doing it on my wrist, but I'm doing it over here away from the candle. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, it's beautiful. It smells happy, if that makes sense. It's like a fresh, happy smell, but also because of the bergamot, you could definitely wear it this time of year too. It's not summery, it just smells good. It just smells good. I love it. And I believe they have a few other scents too. Again, that is called Dreaming Out Loud. Again, huge thank you to Sassy by Savannah Chrisley. It was really fun to try out this brand. I'd never used their products before and I freaking love them. I mean, I think these eyes are so gorgeous. I love the lip. I love the blush and the highlighter. I hope you guys enjoyed this too. Leave any of your comments or questions down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. And yeah, also links to everything will be in the bottom box so you can check it out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.